I mean, in a way, you can't compare us to Superman. Because, like, the people around you that's going to put you down, that's like that kryptonite. That kryptonite makes Superman weak, but he still did all he can to get away from that kryptonite and do, and still continue to do what's right. And that's the same thing with us. That's all we got to do. We got to get away from what's making us weak and what's bringing us down and continue, you know, continue going on, stay strong. To make it, to make it out, it's like being a superhero because it's like, it's not, it's not a lot of superheroes. There's not, well, it's not a lot of people that have the courage enough to be a hero. And there's not a lot of people that have the ambition and the willpower to do like what they gotta do to make it. My biggest struggle that I had to overcome was choosing what I really wanted to be in life, a street dude or a school dude, and showing my mama what I can be. Street dude as in money, cars, clothes, girls, staying out late past curfew, you know, doing the things your mother wouldn't approve of you doing as a minor. The most biggest peer pressure is like robbing, I guess, people. But I had no reason to rob nobody because, you know, I never grew up like that. So the other people do or uh, would do that. Like, because they did that before, you know, run people's houses and stuff like that. The thing about me is it's more of trying to be my own person and not trying to fall into being like everybody else. Yeah, like be a leader, not a follower, you know, and whether people want to admit it or not, man, it's, they know down when they follow and not being a leader. So I, that that's something I really do struggle with and peer pressure is like, man, I done got in trouble so many times just doing something with somebody like, oh, let's go do this and I done did it. My neighborhood is, is just a neighborhood. That's how I feel about it. Um, it's a cancer to me. I mean, sometimes it gets very serious and you know, you go through things that you never been through or you got a lot of stuff on your plate. I mean, uh, like you don't know how to deal with a lot of stuff and I'm only 17, so I'm dealing with a lot as of right now. So, I mean, it'd be hard. It's not easy. Struggle is not easy. You could take a lot of courage, power, strength to hold it in. I mean. It's up to you what you really want to do with your life. Um, it's just drama over there. It's just a lot of break-ins and, and crimes and stuff over there. Fighting, shooting, all that type of stuff. Because every day I come to school and see stuff outside my neighborhood, it's all I got to do with it. Money, drugs, music, and everything combined with it. What keeps me from that negative stuff is want to be better than that. Want to be better than any, you know, not anybody I see, but want to be better for myself, you know. I want to go in the right direction. I was bullied like a long time. Like, it was to the point it's like stuff got real serious. Like, probably when I was in the fourth grade, I wanted to commit suicide because I was bullied so bad. The way I dressed for one, I mean, I, you don't see, who do you see? Uh, average day dressed the way I do. Um, my sexuality, um, you get, you get, as being a gay male, you get belittled. And, um, I mean, I don't look at it in the sense of, oh, I'm scared of anyone, because you bleed, I, I feel like you bleed how I bleed. Going to school was the hard, I mean, it was just really going to school, because going somewhere else, I was with my parents. So, but going to school, walking with my brother, like, I used to get like big rocks thrown at me and stuff. So like, and then like my brother did. My brother was the oldest, and he never did nothing. He just was like, "Don't do that." Like he's he was the punk too. So, I mean, I really just start standing up for myself. Like it's just like it's not it's something that's so hard, and you got to take a lot of courage to do it because you never know. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm the toughest in the world. I'm not gonna say I could beat everybody, but you never know 
what could possibly go down. You never know what could go on. I mean that just because I'm taking up for, I'm mean, standing up for myself. Now I mean I could beat this person. I'm just, I just want this person to know. Just, res- I'm just asking for respect. If I don't disrespect you, don't disrespect me. Stereotype of black people, I say, coming from the hood is, oh, they're all robbers, uh, you know, crooks, criminals, gang bangers, everything else, and and I'm saying like, don't. You don't have to be that. You can go your own way, be your own person. And it's all about getting the mindset of not caring what your friends think because if they're your real friends, they're not going to belittle you and talk down on you about what you do just because you're different from them. You don't have to be like everybody else. It's being your own person. It's a sense of having self-respect and pride to... to stand up for for what you believe in. Being a superhero is, is one of a kind, so it's hard for people to try to stand out and do what's right. You know, you ain't got, you got people, like they said, you know, you got people trying to, you know, all be the same, but, you know, Superman, he one of a kind. You know, there's no superhero. I'm not saying I'm invincible and whatnot, but, you know, I'm saying I still, you know, I still have the heart to do what's right. I don't, how I'm going to overcome my struggles is me personally, I know that like the man upstairs going to help me because like I, like I pray every night and it's like I feel the ambition, ambition burning inside me but I just got to find out where I'm going to start at. But for some people, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step so I think I got to start. I gotta take that one step to begin my journey. But I already know though, like, I know deep down in my heart though, I ain't gonna be in this struggle or poverty for forever. Cause this ain't what I wanna do, ain't what I wanna do. I'm gonna make it out so I can make my mother proud and my family proud. Like, I think step one was graduating high school and I, I, I'm doing that. It's like, it's like, I ain't gonna say you can't tell me nothing, but. You can't tell me nothing.